Hi, this is Jacob with PCTechGuide.com, and today we're taking a look at Nova Backup. This version is going to be 17.1. Now, Nova Backup is an all-in-one data backup program. It's fantastic, especially if you're a small business owner or somebody who has a lot of files that need to be backed up because they're important. And I've recommended Nova Backup for years now, especially to uh, small business clients, just because of the ability to do full backups, image backups, incremental backups. Now, Nova Backup still isn't the easiest program to use out there, so that alone can be pretty difficult, but that's also because it, it does have so many features inside it. So that by itself can be pretty overwhelming. However, they do have a great support section, so not only do they have it on the website, but if I go down under support right here, they have uh, home guides, videos, documents, and these videos are pretty cool because they, they can walk you through quite a bit of, hey, how exactly to use the program. So it's great that they have that up there, and then they also offer support too as well, which is uh, really nice. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how I would recommend, let's say, a small business use Nova Backup. Go under the Express Wizard and walk you through that way. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Backup. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is create a disaster recovery backup. And it's what this is going to do is this is going to create an image of your local hard drive. That way, if, let's say, that hard drive fails or your computer blows up, whatever happens, right, you're, you're going to have an exact copy of that hard drive. And this is fantastic for small businesses especially because you have all your software on there that you want backed up. Now normally when you do a regular backup, it's going to back up your personal files and, and it, all the other files that you tell it to back up. But it's not going to have those software programs in there. And it's not going to back up Windows itself. Well, the disaster recovery does a, a complete image of it in the important part with Nova 2 as well to recognize is even if uh, you end up having to purchase let's say a new machine with different hardware you're still able to use their image backup on that new hardware so that's very important to recognize so you don't have to have the exact duplicate of the system and there are plenty of other image software programs that say hey you don't have the same video card or you don't have the same motherboard so we really can't help you so that is important to recognize uh, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in and we're gonna do the 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 full image backup now I'm gonna go ahead and select the backup that I wanted which is my C drive and that's because that's where like my operating system is right so I wanna want to to capture everything on my C drive which is where Windows is installed which is where all my software programs are installed in case this hard drive uh, craps out on me I'm able to easily throw in another hard drive and then restore the image to this hard drive so I'll go ahead and go next and then it'll ask me for a destination so I'll choose a destination here so I have my destinations my destination set up so now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the next button next you're gonna be asked whether you want to schedule the backup automatically. So you can select daily, weekly, monthly, and in all honesty, something that I myself don't know, and I have to touch back to Nova and, and ask them particularly, if I'm doing this backup and I schedule it, let's say to run once a month, because this is just the image of the hard drive, I'll set up a different backup for all my regular files. This is just the, the snapshot of the entire computer right now and I'll back up all my incremental files and all the changes that happen over time I'll back them up in another location but if I do this let's say monthly and I select this location what's going to happen uh, to the old backup are they going to remove the old backup and replace it with this new one or is it just uh, gonna keep accumulating so you know in a year I'm gonna have 12, 12 snapshots of my C drive and my my C drive is over 100 gigs right now so that'd be uh, you, you know a terabyte of information which is a lot of data really so I'm gonna have to ask them how that how that works and man normally for most businesses I say backup monthly but with this version I'm not sure exactly how it, how it works before if I have to go in and delete the old backups manually or, or what happens so I'm gonna check with them and find out but go ahead and hit the next button and then it's gonna go ahead and back it up for you now here's my backup and this took about 20 minutes to do 100 gigs of, of data and we're gonna see that the size was actually shrunk down to uh, 77 gigs right here so that's still pretty big but you like I said before what happens when I when I have another one is it going to list it here and just 
you know, in a month I'm going to have 12 of these things. If so, that's not so bad because you can just go in and manually delete it. Now, I do want to stress that when I installed this, if we look at my computer right here, that I put it on a different hard disk than my my where my files are stored. So this local F drive is just there as an external backup on my PC. So it has so even if this drive dies, this drive will still be alive. So it's very important you don't want to do a backup on the same drive. And I just want to stress that because I've seen that mistake made before by people and that's uh, that's a big no-no in the field. Now you do have an option of doing cloud backup too as well with Nova backup and that's pretty nice. So to do that, if you go into cloud backup here, they don't list like uh, the Google Drive or Dropbox for instance. They're not listed here. So in order to actually get to those is what you're going to have to do is close this down. Don't go under the cloud backup. It's kind of misleading. We'll go under backup and then under backup here, way here at the bottom left, you're going to see backup two. So go ahead and select backup two. And then right here I have Dropbox installed in my system. So if I had, let's say, the Google Drive or OneNote there, it would be, OneDrive I should say, it'll be listed right here. And I'd be able to select what I wanted and then, you know, you can, you can go ahead and name the backup and, and schedule it that way. So we'll say Dropbox because I want to save it to the cloud. We'll hit OK. And then I can go through and I can actually select, you know, all the files I want to back up and I could say, okay, Jacob, right? Or I can say, well, you know, which, which files is it that, that we want? Do we want my documents, wherever it is at your business or wherever it is that you usually save your files, you can go through and, you know, do your, your music, your pictures, and, and you can determine whether you want to back these other items up or what you do not want to back up. For instance, I wouldn't want to back up quite a bit of what's in here just because it, it's of no use to me. But uh, I would want my documents backed up. And, and, you know, that's for you to decide what and where you want to back up. And this, what this is going to do is this is basically, I can, I can schedule it then. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to save all these files into Dropbox, the Dropbox folder on my hard drive, right? So you might want to change your Dropbox location to an alternate drive, especially if your C drive doesn't have a lot of space. From there, it's going to automatically copy those items into the Dropbox folder on my computer. So they're backed up there technically in another folder. But then it's going to take, because they're in that folder, it's then going to back it up to my Dropbox account in the cloud. So that could also be my Google Drive account that's in the cloud. Now I do have other services like I, I use SugarSync for for my business for for syncing multiple computers together and they do not have that option in here so so I'm kind of disappointed there just because I'm a big fan of SugarSync and I use that to sync my computers across multiple um, multiple places so 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 it's really really easy for me to manage who has access to the files and who doesn't. But um, that's not an option for me to use with, uh, with Nova. Now, once you were to create, let's say, that image of the, the file, you need to create a startup boot disk now. So go ahead and go under the disaster recovery. And we're going to launch the recovery tool here. So I'll hit next. And right in here, we're going to go ahead and create. Uh, come on. I was clicking on the image and not the box. That's pretty funny. So we're going to go ahead and create a boot disk and you can walk through the prompts and what you're going to have to do is it'll say create an image then once you create the image you'll be asked to download the Microsoft some Microsoft files basically programs to actually help create the boot disk and what this is going to do is the purpose of this boot disk is let's say your computer dies you then use this boot disk basically to gain access to uh, their recovery window so a recovery window just like this and is what you'll be able to do is you'll then be able to hit the restore button and actually restore your drive. So it's asking me where I want to save it to. And I'll cancel out because I really don't need it there. But um, you're, you'll be asked to choose the restore location, the image. And from there you can go ahead and follow the on-screen prompts and, and do it that way. And you can also back up through this, this uh uh, disaster recovery window too and what I really like is on their support page they have videos walking you exactly through how to do all this which is fantastic because nothing worse than the you know your data 
being lost and you trying to do a recovery and not being able to figure it out, they have all the guides right online. And to get to those guides, you simply go to support, go over to the videos, and they walk you through right there how to restore a backup. And it's very important to have that that image up, especially if you're a small business. If you're a home end user, you know, no, it's not as important because you can reload Windows manually and and reinstall your your programs and it's okay usually if somebody loses a few programs but for a business you know that downtime can be crucial for you so so you, you know rule of thumb is is it's gonna happen at the worst time possible for you so so definitely get that image done but uh... It, the express wizard is where you'll go up and you'll actually go through backing up and defining your your backup jobs which is pretty easy so we're gonna say we're going to go ahead and do a backup uh, to a local drive and this is this is a pretty normal process that most people go through now i know a lot of people here are going to say well yeah i want to back up all files on the system drive well if you've already created that image you don't really need this and for most people you don't really need this either because it's going to create a whole lot of files that you're never going to use you know all your junk temp files and quite quite a bit of stuff that that you have no i no you're never going to use, you're never going to go through. I generally recommend that most people do the custom selection and the reason why is because not everything is going to be kept under the My Documents folder using the custom selection and then going through and saying okay well what what is it that I want backed up? You know for me I this is me as the user Jacob right here so if I click this I can go through this and say okay well this is exactly what I want I want everything on the desktop I want all my downloads I want this right here my Dropbox or if you want that right your favorites folder I gotta have that I want my documents I want uh, my pictures I want my videos so 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 you can manually go through and you can pick out exactly what you want all the the folders and areas so I have that then you can browse your C drive and say okay I want these particular folders backed up on my C drive anywhere else that you want and once you pick what you want so I have what I want and I'll go ahead and I'll hit the next button and then I'll choose my location once done I'll hit next then it'll be asked to schedule it so I can go ahead and put in time and it, you know you have to decide you know how often you want your files backed up I'll just say weekly on it and just give it a day and a time and go ahead and hit next I'm going to go ahead and calculate the space which is six gigs roughly and I'll say start my backup so it's going to go ahead and back this up once the backup operation is complete you can go ahead and check the log if you want and this is what the log will look like it'll tell you what you backed up and we'll see that I actually only backed up one file here just for the purpose of this video we'll go ahead and go back we're going to see that there's recent jobs in here and there's a job that I tried to do and you can actually go into it and see okay if it's red it means it didn't back up properly and this is important because if you were to have an interruption for whatever reason the backup it's always good to know that it didn't work properly and you're gonna see that with the red otherwise right in here you're gonna see the next scheduled jobs that uh, you had scheduled it is also important to note that you can back up to a network device as well so if you have a network device on your system that's uh, fantastic with Nova Backup you can back up to that so it doesn't have to be local to your PC at all and that's really it for Nova Backup we quickly run through some of the menu options under copy you're gonna be able to go through and just copy files from one place to another so very similar to backing up but it's more of a, a one-time thing you could of course schedule it they have the backup options that we recovered say in the backup to and let's say selecting the cloud res resources you have the restore area to restore the backups uh, logs, which will show you logs of the backups that have previously been done. You, your your schedules, which you can go in and you can edit a schedule real quick. So, okay, I want to edit this from, this one was, what was it, weekly? And you can change it to a different type. And the devices, you're going to have the devices that are currently on your system. So it's telling me that, you know, I have these known devices and then I have this one device, which is unknown. And this device actually just went down on me. Uh, two days ago and I have quite a bit of files there but not to worry because I have everything backed up in the cloud I'm good to go so so I actually have just had a hard drive fail on me and then status which is just where we're at just at lastly you're gonna have the support tab which we covered a bit and this is where you can actually go through videos that that Nova has for you so all in all Nova backup two thumbs up I'm still not pleased I think they still have improvement to go when it comes to the interface such as explaining people's options a little bit better and maybe having a questionnaire type form showing up and you know 
most people don't understand the difference between an image backup, a full backup, an incremental backup, and the like. So there is support documents to help explain all that, but but you know who's going to go through and read it? You know nobody, right? But I did walk you through how I would best use Nova Backup, and this is pretty much how I set up pretty much all small businesses is uh, with uh, with very very similar software to Nova Backup, and I've recommended Nova Backup in the past, and I'll continue to recommend them to small businesses just because it's a low-cost data backup solution that works wonderfully. That's it for this video. I hope it helps.